fellow students, myself, Dr. Sachin Kapoor. I wish you a very warm welcome to this session of Zoology Lectures. The topic of our discussion today is cranial nerves. I'll give you the tips and tricks and mnemonics that how to memorize these cranial nerves in an easy way. First of all, let's understand what is the meaning of cranial nerves. Cranial nerves are the nerves which are attached to brain. Cranial is the brain box. So cranial nerves are the nerves which either enter brain or which exit from brain. In case of amniotes, amniotes are the animals which have amniotic membrane that is reptiles, birds and mammals. The number of cranial nerves is 12 pairs that is in case of amniotes. And in case of anamniotes, that is fish and amphibians, the number of cranial nerves is 10 pairs. As you can see here, I have already listed the cranial nerves starting from 1 to 12. Please remember that we have to follow this convention that the cranial nerves are numbered in this way only in Roman numerals. The first cranial nerve is olfactory then optic, oculomotor, trochlear, trigeminal, abducens, facial, auditory, glossopharyngeal, vagus, spinal accessory and hypoglossal. We will discuss that which cranial nerve is sensory, which cranial nerve is motor and which cranial nerve is mixed. As you can see, olfactory, olfaction is what? It is related to sense of smell. The olfactory cranial nerve is a sensory cranial nerve. Optic, optic is related to sense of vision. So this is another sensory nerve. I'll give you a clue that how to remember this thing that which cranial nerve is sensory and which cranial nerve is motor. Just remember one sentence. Some say money matters, but my brother says big books matter more. Let's write this sentence as I said. Some say money matters, but my brother says big books matter more. You have to remember this sentence in sequence. This will give you a clue that the first alphabet stands for sensory. Second is sensory. Third is motor. Another nerve which is motor. B stands for both. Both means mixed. So sensory, sensory, motor, motor, B for both, that is mixed, then motor, both, sensory, both, both, again motor and motor. So let's again repeat the sentence. Some say money matters, but my brother says big books matter more. So remember this sentence in sequence, that will give you a clue that the first cranial nerve is sensory, second is sensory, third is motor, fourth is motor and then so on. Is it clear? Now, another thing is that how to remember the names of these cranial nerves? There is one simple way. We will just take the first alphabet and write it this way. It is O O O T T A F A G V S H. We have broken it into small fragments. That's an easy way. So the first three cranial nerves, their name starts from O. So it is O O O T T A. Fagab F A G V. Facial auditory glossopharyngeal vagus spinal accessory and hypoglossal. Now. First is olfactory, second is optic, third is oculomotor. Why these cranial nerves are numbered in this way? Why olfactory is the first one and why not optic is the first one? The reason is that this is the sequence with respect to attachment with the brain. If you look from the side, olfactory is the first one, then optic, then oculomotor. So this sequences with respect to their attachment with the brain. Now another mnemonic to remember the names of these cranial nerves that is old OP let's say that OP is the name of a person 
old OP occasionally tries trigonometry and feels awkward blooming vague sad hyperactive I will repeat this sentence old OP occasionally tries trigonometry and feels awkward gloomy vague sad hyperactive now from this sentence we will get a clear idea that the first cranial nerve starts with OL it is olfactory because the names of the first three cranial nerves are starting with the alphabet O so that might create a confusion that is it the optic which is the first one or is it the olfactory which is the first one so if you remember this sentence in sequence that is old OP occasionally tries to elementary that will help you to figure out that the first cranial nerve is olfactory second is optic third is oculomotor then it is trochlear then it is trigeminal abducens facial auditory glossopharyngeal vagus spinal accessory and hypoglossal so that was a trick to remember the names of the cranial nerves in sequence and to remember their nature that which one is sensory and which one is motor in the second part of this lecture we will discuss the functions of these cranial nerves olfactory related to sense of smell optic related to sense of vision oculomotor is related to movement of the eyeball and so on so we will continue this in the second part of this lecture